What's going on, y'all? This is John Alsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We got new up-to-date fantasy content coming your way every day on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, then please hit that button. But before we get into our main topic for today, my co-host Nick Payne put in a ton of work to give you guys a free 2021 redraft draft kit available on our website, which can be found at facemaskpod.com. It's a great piece of content, something that other analysts might be charging you for but we're giving it to you for free so without further ado let's get into some fantasy talk and today i want to get into rookie sam ellinger now i know everybody's already heard about carson wentz being out due to his foot surgery and somebody's already gone out and spent half of their fab on jacob eason but i'm here to talk about the 218th overall pick in the 2021 nfl draft selected by the colts out of texas Sam Ellinger. He stands 6'1", 220 pounds. He was a four-star recruit and a four-year starter who is now top three in Longhorns history in most passing categories, including yards with 11,436 and touchdowns with 94. He came to the University of Texas after breaking high school records set by Drew Brees and Nick Foles. So by the time he was finished at high school, Ellinger owned both the passing yards and the passing TD record. In college, during his career as a starter, Sam Ellinger completed 63% of his passes for again, 94 TDs to go along with 33 rushing TDs and only 27 interceptions. He surprisingly averaged 41 rushing yards and 0.7 rushing touchdowns per game in college. Now those numbers look great, but his career 62.5 completion percentage and his 7.7 .7 yards per attempt does bring his overall profile and resume down a little bit. But as you can see from those numbers, he's a dual threat quarterback who, while exciting and multifaceted as both an athlete and a quarterback, and while he has adequate arm strength and, according to coaches and scouts, had an excellent football IQ, he has gained a reputation for being fairly inaccurate on intermediate touch passes and was often late on his reads for somebody who's coming into the NFL. But one thing he did do, one thing I cannot fault him for, is that he did play up to the competition in college when asked to, as he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joe Burrow, number one overall pick Joe Burrow, Heisman Trophy winning Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers in a game in which he went 31 for 47, 401 yards and four touchdowns, and also 19 rushes for 60 yards and one touchdown on the ground. As you can see, his mobility sets him apart, and I believe Ellinger could find work in the mold of a Taylor Heineke or a Taysom Hill once he learns the position more. I'm really excited about Ellinger. I'm more excited about Ellinger than I am for Eason for fantasy purposes, and it all has to to do with their different strengths. Eason is a typical pocket passer with absolutely zero mobility, and that might win you the day in the NFL, but that's not often going to win you the day in today's fantasy leagues. Ellinger, on the other hand, is a bit of both, and I'd much rather roster the potential dual threat QB over a pocket passer. On my fantasy teams, I just got to get that rushing upside. That said, I would not expect Sam Ellinger to make any starts this year unless Eason is just terrible. But if he did, I think he would become a great DFS lineup option, as well as a great streaming option in season-long leagues, if only for a spot play here and there. Where I think he can really shine is Superflex, and like I've said before, a QB with the chance to start is valuable, as there's only 32 spots open at any given moment. This QB depth chart is relatively ambiguous up until the point that Carson Wentz comes back, and dual threat ability at a discount considering everybody's going in on the other guy is enticing to me. In Dynasty, I'm buying him and holding him for his long-term value in Superflex. As if the Carson Wentz experiment does not work out, they can cut him and save $25 million against the cap as soon as the end of the 2022 season, at which point Ellinger could conceivably have learned enough from the position from a pocket passer's perspective to where he can operate a dual threat offense against NFL competition. I love him as a taxi squad hold in all formats in Dynasty and just a buy in general in any long-term super flex formats. I think given time, he could be more Taysom Hill and Taylor Heineke than Jake Locker and Tim Tebow. But what do you guys think about Sam Ellinger? You guys think I'm on point or you guys think I'm a little bit off on him? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John Alsace. This is Face Mask Fantasy. Once again, bringing you fantasy content every day on this channel so if you like this content please hit that subscribe button thank you for listening and have a great day